For years, little girls have delightfully cared for their favorite doll. And for many of those sweet faces, their journey began right here in Indiana. I didn't like dolls when I was a kid. I was the oldest of a family of six, and, and playing with dolls was too much like what I had to do every day. But my parents were both artists, and I have loved art all my life. So my husband's sister started this doll thing. It was the beginning of the craze of dolls, and they were reproducing the old antiques. And my sister-in-law took them, and she painted them differently, and she put real eyelashes in them, and it was beautiful. And then that caught my eye. It was the love of the doll that was pretty. Together, they designed and sold doll molds to retailers. Until 1989, when Virginia started her own studio, sculpting and producing dolls direct to customers. The most important thing to me is to do a face that is sweet and not sad. You can't do every doll smiling or laughing, but they can still be very pleasant and sweet. I have found out through the years that what we call a generic sculpt sells better than a character sculpt. I would look at pictures. They will give you the boost, the start, but then your own feeling can kick into it. And my best dolls are the ones where I have not tried to totally make it look like this picture. Virginia designs and produces each Turner doll, from head to toe, on site at the factory next to her family farm, including the customized clothing. Fabric, it will start the wheels turning. And we are known for our clothing. It's all handmade. The fabric will click with me, but I don't always see the design until I get it in here. Dolls are mannequins. What you dress the doll in will either make it or break it. And I have tried a few times buying commercially made dresses. Mm -mm, they don't want it. They want the handmade Turner dresses. And we enjoy doing it, so yeah, that's fine with us. Even as most toy companies moved their operations overseas, Virginia found new ways to remain sustainable and independent. I said, porcelain is going to play out. So the vinyl was kicking in, everybody was loving vinyl. And the great thing about rotational molding is you don't have any seams from the mold. It's done to where it's smooth, but we invested in the oven and then we had a mold maker over in Cincinnati that did the metal molds that we needed. So we put in our operation in 1991. In porcelain, I hand painted every single one of them. When it got to vinyl, there's a different aspect of it. The paint that you use to paint vinyl with, you purchase it from the automotive industry. We have what they call stencils. It's a metal mask that goes over the face and we spray the lips and we spray the cheeks. It's hand painted, but in a way, it's not like with a brush where you, you know, do each stroke because you can't with vinyl. It has to be sprayed on or it's globby looking. And as soon as it hits the vinyl, it's dry. So there's a lot of mechanics also in, in making dolls. Not only just the face itself, but also you have to think of the technical part of it. Is it going to be one that's gonna go on a shoulder plate? Is it going to be one where the neck is attached to the head? Or is it going to be one where the neck is attached to the shoulder plate? Because there's a difference in the way the head rotates. You have to think of all that. Vinyl, you have to make way more of them. And uh, once you get the work done to where you have the metal mold to make it, then it's very easy to make one after the other. Well, then the market became so large that we had 1,000 retail doll shops that we were selling to. They would be lining up to get into the booth to buy the dolls. So then we had to expand. We had to build more buildings. We had to add another oven. We had to hire more employees. And it, it was really fun. <laughs> I loved it. At its peak, Turner Dolls shipped up to 6,000 dolls a year. Unfortunately, this collecting lost popularity, production slowed. Today, they make less than 100. I am the only artist that is producing her dolls in the United States. I just can't see letting my dolls um, go into kits or anything else. I've got to protect the collectors. If a person is a doll collector, right away, they know who Virginia Turner is. And a lot of people, when I say I make dolls, they think that I'm just making dolls as a hobby. They don't know that I've done it as a living. I've been fortunate because I got to get in on the ground floor and take it all the way through. There's not too many artists that have lasted 33 years. Now, I've worked very hard in it, I will say that, but the work's just been a joy. And my employees have been like my family. 
I'll say to my husband quite often, well, it's, it's going away, but you can't take away the memories. They were made with a lot of love and a lot of pride.